Archimedes, Greek mathematician, Greek engineer and inventor Archimedes is recognized as the finest mathematician of antiquity and one of the greatest of all time L. 287 minus 212 BCE. He is known as the father of mathematics and mathematical physics and is credited with many innovations that are still in use today, such as the Archimedes screw. Aside from a brief period spent studying in Alexandria, Egypt, when he made friends with the polymath Eratosthenes, circa 276 to 195 BC, and the astronomer Canon of Samos, he was born and raised in the Greek colony of Syracuse, Sicily. When he returned to Syracuse, he served as an engineer and problem solver for King Hiero II, who may have been a relative. During the Second Punic War, 218 to 201 BC, he is credited with creating or improving a number of weapons, including a heat ray, whose existence and effectiveness are still up for question. The Archimedes screw, the use of the lever, and his contributions to mathematics are what make Archimedes most famous. He is claimed to have frequently forgotten to eat or take a bath since he was so engrossed in intellectual activities. His refusal to join a soldier after Syracuse was conquered by the Romans in 212 BCE due to his concentration on mathematical computations may have contributed to his demise. He was then murdered by a soldier who did not identify him defying the Roman general Marcus Claudius Marcellus's explicit orders. In his era, he was considered as a mathematical and engineering prodigy, and this reputation still holds true today. Life in Alexandria Almost much is known about Archimedes' life outside of the fact that he was born in Syracuse, Sicily, which at the time was a part of Magna Graecia, the Roman designation for the lands colonized by Greek colonists along the coast of southern Italy. His family is believed to have been of the upper class or even nobility because they could afford to send his father, Phidias, an astronomer, to Alexandria for his schooling. The works of Polybius c. 200,118 BC, who was primarily interested in the war machines Archimedes designed, contain the earliest known mention of Archimedes. It's likely that Polybius left out details about Archimedes' life since a biography, now lost, had already been written about him. His father eventually sent him to Alexandria, which at the time was becoming a rival intellectual hub to Athens during the Ptolemaic dynasty. He made acquaintances with Alexandria's top thinkers, Eratosthenes of Siren and Canon of Samos, during his time there. Canon was a renowned astronomer and mathematician, while Eratosthenes was the director of the Library of Alexandria and a multi-talented individual who made the first calculation of the Earth's circumference. Despite the lack of information on these connections, Archimedes thought highly enough of Eratosthenes to dedicate his book The Method to him. Astronomical Advances It seems likely that Canon and Eratosthenes had an influence on Archimedes in the fields of mathematics and astronomy but it is speculative to speculate on the extent of that influence. A number of astronomy-related works attributed to Archimedes have been mentioned by later authors, but none of them have survived except for his Sand Reckoner, which determined the universe's size. The title refers to his attempt to estimate the size of the universe in order to calculate how many sand grains would be required to fill it. The heliocentric model put forth by the astronomer Aristarchus of Samos is best preserved in this work L. C. 310 to C. 230 BCE, astronomical instruments that could track the positions and motions of the sun, moon, and planets are credited to Archimedes. A bronze sphere that could be spun to display the planetary locations and how they circled around the Earth is how at least one of these contraptions is described. Modern researchers cite Cicero's L. 106-43 BCE reference to the devices to argue that Archimedes is the most likely candidate to have invented the Antikythera mechanism. The Antikythera mechanism, commonly referred to as the Antikythera gadget, is said to be the first analog computer ever created. The instrument, which was dated to the late 2nd century and early 1st century BC, and was found in 1901 off the Greek island of Antikythera, was used to determine the positions of the sun, moon, and planets. The instrument was created in Greece using Greek characters, although it was based on Babylonian and Egyptian astronomical ideas. A pointer could be changed by turning a crank, and it would click into place to display the moon's phase, the planet's positions, and eclipse calculations. Archimedes is only one candidate for the invention's creator, Hipparchus of Nicaea c. 190,120 BCE and other people have also claimed credit. However, the mathematician Pappus of Alexandria c. 290 to c. 350 c, who asserted that Archimedes had produced a treatise on how to manufacture such devices, 
supports Cicero's reference of Archimedes' similar innovations. However, this does not imply that Archimedes created the Antikythera device. Rather, it is possible that Hipparchus or another person was the Antikythera device's inventor. Archimedes' screw. Regardless of whether he invented the Antikythera mechanism, he is well known for creating the Archimedes' screw, a device that transfers water from a lower level to a higher one. There are various versions of the events leading to the invention of Archimedes' screw, as there are of many stories about his life, but they are all centered on the challenge of draining water from a ship's lowest deck. The most well-known account is provided by the Greek author Athenaeus of Naucrates, who describes how Hiero II commissioned Archimedes to build the largest ship that had ever been seen for him, one that could also be used for war and pleasure travel. The Syracusa, the largest ship ever constructed, was planned by Archimedes and included an extravagant shrine to Aphrodite, gardens, a gym, state rooms, and other luxuries. It had space for over 19 guests, crew members, and soldiers, as well as war towers and a full-sized catapult. The ship was constructed in accordance with Archimedes' ideas, but it was later discovered that its size and weight caused a significant amount of water to leak through its hull. In Archimedes' screw, a crank turned a cylinder containing a twisted blade that rotated upward. Water could be dragged up and out of the ship by submerging one end of the cylinder and rotating the crank. It is unknown what happened to the Syracusa following its one and only voyage from Syracuse to Alexandria when it was given as a gift to Ptolemy three Eurgetes. Archimedes' Principle Some versions of the tale of Archimedes' Law which stated that any floating object displaces its own weight of the fluid it is in, include the ship. Archimedes is regarded as the father of hydrostatics because his theory, known as the flotation principle, explains why an object floats rather than sinks. According to legend, Archimedes came at his discoveries while attempting to determine how a ship the size of the Syracusa would be able to sail. The Syracusa is never mentioned in Archimedes' work on floating bodies in relation to his discovery, and he also doesn't mention the fabled golden crown that appears in most versions of the tale. The best-known account was written by the Roman architect and engineer Vitruvius c. 90, 20 BC, who claimed that Hiero II gave a craftsman enough pure gold to build a crown. He wanted Archimedes to come up with a discovery technique that wouldn't harm the crown. Archimedes is supposed to have contemplated this issue for a long time before realizing one day that he could determine the density of the crown by seeing how the water rose as his body displaced it in the bath. Petruvius claims that Archimedes applied this approach to gauge the crown's density, and discovered that the goldsmith had in fact employed baser metal and hoarded the majority of the gold for himself. Mathematical Advances Many of Archimedes' writings, many of which are still in existence and are regarded as substantial contributions to the subject, are what give him his reputation as a mathematical genius. Johann Heiberg, a historian, philologist, and expert on Archimedes, first recognized the method of mechanical theorems as an original Greek work by Archimedes in 1906 L. 1854-1928. It was concealed by a subsequent text in a piece of Christian liturgy that had borrowed the pages from an earlier version. Because vellum parchment was expensive, it was customary practice in the Middle Ages to recycle old books by unbinding them removing the pages and washing them before utilizing them for a new piece. This reuse of the piece Heiberg identified, now known as the Archimedes Palimpsest, took place in or around 1229, with the liturgical text being placed over the original, which had faded but was still readable. Archimedes' work has become more understandable as a result of recent imaging work between 1999 and 2008, and the method may now be read as a whole. Among his many notable accomplishments, Archimedes computed pi to be 3.14, invented calculus by discovering infinitesimals, defined parabolas, developed the concept of circle area, and discussed the property of real numbers. War machines. Although Archimedes is frequently credited with creating the lever, in reality, all he did was clarify how it operated and make it possible to utilize it more precisely. With the use of a lever on a cart that, when rolled, dropped a little ball to indicate each mile between two sites, 
he invented the odometer, a device that measures distance. The lever was also used to upgrade the catapults that were already in place to better defend Syracuse from the Romans. Syracuse was a Roman ally during the Second Punic War but afterwards sided with Carthage. To bring Syracuse back into line, Rome dispatched the generals Claudius Marcellus and Appius Claudius Pulcher d. 211 BCE against it in 214 BCE before coming across Archimedes' war engines, which are alleged to have guarded the city for two years, the Romans appear to have thought the campaign would be a simple one. The two best-known inventions, besides the upgraded catapults, were Archimedes' heat ray and claw. A crane-like device with a hook at one end, the claw of Archimedes might be used to sink ships. These machines appear to have been placed seaward in multiple locations, and as Roman ships approached, the crane would swing down and either capsize the vessel or hoist it up to ram it into another. Rome suffered significant casualties as a result of Archimedes' defenses, according to the Roman historian Livy C. 59 BC, 17 C, who also makes explicit mention of the effectiveness of the claw weapon. Archimedes' claw has been faithfully recreated in modern times, demonstrating that it most likely functioned as reported by early historians. The heat ray is far more contentious today since some academics still dispute if it ever occurred or how it operated. None of the books that reference the device ever define it. For instance, Anthemius of Trowels and Lucian of Samosata c. 125 c. 180 c both state that Archimedes used burning glasses to destroy opposing ships, although neither author goes into detail on how this was accomplished. 